Working with groups around the valley, Amy Vashon, an engineering professor at Boise State, is 3D printing face shields. When they're working with patients, uh, if they are hit with some kind of um, fluids of some kind, it's going to protect them. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. This is one. And what it does is this, when combined with a face mask, um, like a sewn face mask on the front, it will help protect healthcare workers in the field. Each shield mask takes three to four hours to make and costs around $3. But with the help of others around the community, like the engineering department at Northwest Nazarene, they are able to create 50 to 60 shields a day. All of our students are now learning in a remote environment, as almost everybody is. And so our machines were sitting idle, and so we wanted to put them to use to help out with what was going on in the valley. Doctors and nurses are testing the prototypes live in the field right now. So when Idaho does have a shortage, the shields will be ready. We are trying to make them as close to what they would normally buy as possible. So they give us feedback on our designs, and then we change the designs to meet their needs. Anyone with a 3D printer is encouraged to help. All you have to do is sign up on the Boise State website and they will send you the printing files as well as where to drop the parts off at. We're here to be a help for our community. And so by doing this, we could just take stuff that we have on hand, we could give to the community, help those people who are short on resources. Lindsay Amundsen, six on your side.